in previous uh, videos, we've seen how we can take simple shapes like a rectangle and a polygon, and we used it as the basis to create our evergreen tree on this poster. And actually, basic shapes can be the basis for more complicated artwork. An example of that is I'm going to go to the artboard switcher menu and I'm going to jump to the artboard number four, which is called Clouds. Uh, behind the rather uh, splendid pencil sketch of my own of some shapes, we have some actual vector shapes, which are blue with a, a black outline. We can arrange separate shapes so that they overlap in some way, and then we can combine them and merge them together as one new shape. Notice here that if I click and drag over these four ellipses, these circles and the rectangle, if I just click and drag and move them away, just to show you that we have a cloud shaped sketch behind it. If I just go back a step to put it back in there, I'll pick up my uh, zoom tool and I will zoom into that region so we can see it nice and clearly. Space bar to pan, switch back to my selection tool. Notice that um, they are all positioned so that they are overlapping one another in some way. In the properties panel now, because I have two or more objects selected, it shows me that I have Pathfinder options. And amongst them on the far left hand side are two black squares overlap one another. This feature is called Unite. So if I was to click on this, which I will, notice that the lines on the inside disappear and wherever those shapes overlap, they've now been merged into one new shape. Really handy. And if I click away from that and just go back to view and choose fit artboard in window, you'll notice that we have some more elliptical shapes and a rectangle. Now, uh, what we'll do next then is arrange these so that they form the pencil sketch of the cloud in the middle. So I'm just going to click on that shape. I'm just going to drag that down roughly in place like so. And I'll grab these and just move them where I think they roughly need to be. Just dragging them down here just to match the edge of the pencil sketch like so. As I say, the pencil sketch is just a guide. It's uh, It doesn't have to be exactly on the pencil sketch. I will then pick up my zoom tool and zoom into that region so we can see it a bit clearer. Switch to my selection tool. Just make sure under the view menu that you do have a tick adjacent to smart guides because they are going to be really handy in this case. And then I'll come back out of that menu. Now, what we need to do is just click on these and just move them a little bit more closer to where the pencil sketch design is. And then we need to make sure that we have a nice flat edge at the bottom for this cloud. If I um, just click on that and drag it upwards. We need a nice flat edge in there. Now to do that, I'm going to hover my cursor just here, just drag it there. And then we need to make sure that the rectangle runs right to the middle of this circle. So if I just hover my cursor over the handle, drag it back, drag it along. Eventually you'll see there's a small X inside there and it snaps to it just there. A little connecting line snaps to it. That will make sure that we get a nice flat edge that runs right to the middle of the circle. And then this one, if I just click and drag and move this one up and again, we get an aligning option in there that shows us the magenta line that uh, runs right across those shapes. Now it's telling me that my circle, the bottom of it is level with the bottom of the other shapes. And again, I'll click on the rectangle, hover over the handle here and just drag that across until again, it snaps to the center of that circle. The aim really now is that we've got all these shapes that create these rounded sections across the top and a lovely flat edge across the bottom. I'll then click and drag across all those five shapes, go to Pathfinder and again, click on Unite to merge them together. And if you just turn off the layer called Sketches, then you should see in there we get a nice clean edge. If that isn't the case, then you can go to the edit menu. You can choose, um, it will be a couple of options back maybe to uh, go back to undo layer options and then you can choose uh, undo add and it'll take you back to the five separate shapes and you can juxtapose them. If you're really struggling with it, you can click and drag from the bottom and select just the two uh, ellipses and the rectangle at the bottom, just these three shapes, ignoring the larger one at the top and the small one at the top. So it's just those selected. And then you can hover your cursor over the rectangle and left click once on that rectangle. It will make it a key object. Notice in the properties panel that under align, the mode is now set to align to key object. So the rectangle will stay where it is, but the circles will move and align to it. And I can choose then align bottom edges like so. And that's another way I've been able to get that. 
Again, click and drag across those, go back to Pathfinder and click on Unite to merge them together. I'll go back to View and then choose uh, Fit Artboard in Window. And that, folks, is the Pathfinder panel, how you can merge separate shapes together to become one new object.